Welcome back to Cat and Dogs on Wheels. We've got RJ, we've got Echo, I'm Cat, and you're probably going to see Luna running around us a little bit here today. Well, today is the showing of the installation of the diesel heater. I want to start out by saying thank you, Don, for getting the heater. Thank you, Justin, for installing the heater. I'm blessed with friends and family. Now, also, I, ke I keep forgetting to tell you guys about a friend of mine who started her YouTube channel. And she started it a little while ago, probably a couple months ago. Um, it's, and I'll put a link in the description below to her channel. It's Janet the Hip Jip Roaming with RA. She has rheumatoid arthritis. She is living off-grid, but she is saving for a van so she can be mobile off-grid. And this gal's got spunk and determination, and I really like Janet, so her channel's worth checking out. So Justin started out by putting the, the heater together in his garage because he was building a special stand for me because we needed to run the fuel line from the bottom and we weren't running it through the bottom of the bus. And it's, it's designed to sit on the floor of your bus with the lines going directly under the floor. Well, we, the exhaust and the intake, of course, we were going through the bottom of the bus, but I have a, a tank that I installed on the door, so I needed it to be able to go in the bus to the and but the attachments are on the bottom so he built me this beautiful little stand and then we covered up the whole unit with an antique box that I have and I love it because of how this is so since it stands off this is where the gas line is going to go the fuel oil line and then the electronics will go this way then one will have to go that way for the for the pump but it just stands off the ground enough to be able to do any of that. So that box worked out being perfect with its... And, I mean, when all is said and done, this could be mounted to the just top of the box too. Like your controls are just sitting right there all mounted on that box, so that box looks like the heater. Um, you just have to be careful when you're removing it that it's kind of tethered to it. So, I don't know, we'll have to find the best spot for that. And that screwed down based on where the final location of this is going to be. Oops. And this is nice because it comes right out the side. And then that'll just fit right up. It's a tight fit, so there's no ductwork needed. And then we might even consider putting another one of these if you have one. That was my last one of these angle brackets. But to put another one on this, just to kind of lock this in from from getting moved away from getting all the air coming out. But even if it does get moved, the air goes in here, it radiates out of there. So, yeah. Pretty sweet setup. Ready to go. And this tank will be mounted on the door and then she'll be able to fill it from the outside. And then this hose will just be pretty close. It'll be in the RV, it'll be like right in here, spatially. So it should all work pretty well. But famous last words, right? Yeah. Now to the install. <laughs> <laughs>
but there's really only so many things that hook up. It's got the connection to power. It's through cigarette lighter adapter. And then it's got the connection to the, the pump, which is mounted on the wall back there. And then there's the connection to the actual heater. And the cigarette adapter is the one that you spliced on. Okay, this is sort of like the thermostat. H3, okay. What's H3 mean? It's heating three bars of Oh, of heat, okay, so you that's your, how, how, how much, you how want much or how little. Yeah. And let's see if, yep, this works, see? It's five, four, Happy and cozy with the diesel heater. We've got sunshine today, and actually later this week it's supposed to get in the 70s. Yet at night it's still getting, last night it got down to 29. So I'm definitely still using the heater a lot. I had to get used to, I had to get used to uh, the extra power draw on my power stations. Um, and remember to fill my little tank. <laughs> It's not that the diesel heater draws that much power, but I'm using it a lot. So in essence, yes, it's a power drain. It's my, I'm using my Blue Eddy 1500 to power my laptop and the diesel heater. And uh, I'm going through a little bit more power now. But I love it, it's totally worth it. I feel so spoiled to be able to come in my cold bus and just Hit the little remote button and boom, I've got heat. I so, know everything is sort of crazy in this world right now. Um, I just want to... Everything is crazy in this world right now. All we can do is try and keep our heads on straight, keep a positive attitude, and keep on going. And that's what I plan on doing is to keep on going. So anyway, that's the diesel heater. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me and the pups and we'll see you next week everyone take care stay safe and i hope all is going well for you i know you're the star of the show rj but you can't totally block me from the camera <laughs> so rj what do you have to say what do you have to say And Echo, what do you have to say? And they're going to knock me over. <laughs> it didn't help that we're sort of on a downhill slope.